Gospel of February the 17th, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you. No sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This very brief segment of the Gospel is what follows is what follows the multiplication of bread. Jesus had just multiplied seven loaves of bread to feed 4,000 people that were listening to him, that had accompanied him for three days. So he made a miracle. We can assume that many of those 4,000 people that were fed the bread realized that there was no bread before and that he had made a miracle. And we can assume clearly that some of them went into the villages and talk about it. And then the Pharisees heard. And they came to argue with Jesus. They want a sign. They want to prove him. They want to test him. They are asking him for a sign from heaven. They want to see, they want to prove whether Jesus is, is coming from heaven or not. Yet the Lord rejects them. Very few times we can see this total rejection of the Lord. He sides from deep within himself and asks, Why does this generation seek a sign? It's just foolishness. They do not want to pay any confidence and they do not want to pay heed to what the people are saying about Jesus. They want to argue with him. Rather than believe, they just want to argue and deny him. So the Lord denies them first. He leaves them. Point blank. Doesn't argue at all. Why is this important? We have to see whether we might fall into this category ourselves. Many times, just some of us might want to ask a proof from the Lord proof that he wants this or that he even exists. Many times we hear from scientists and atheists that they will not believe in God unless he manifests himself in a way that they can that they cannot doubt him. Why is it that the Lord does not impress his person upon us? Love, or rather God, is love. That we can take for certain. And if God is love, we will not find him in any other place but in love. Now, we have been granted intelligence that naturally looks for the truth. We have been granted will, which naturally looks for the goodness, for good. And along with that, freedom, so that we can be masters of our own, so that we can own ourselves. That's why we are not slaves of instincts. Now, we have three gifts, intelligence, will and freedom. Of those three, the, using, the usage of those three makes us able to love, for love cannot be ordered nor required but it has to come from those three potencies that we have those three strengths from our intelligence our will and our freedom and that is the reason why the lord will never impose himself on us lest he take away our freedom if he takes away our freedom we might know him but we will never be able to love him we need to be free even to reject him and that is exactly what these people, the Pharisees, are doing with the Lord. They don't even want to believe in Him. They just want to argue with Him. 
they want to demonstrate to show that he does not come from heaven and he does not engage into the battling now how or is it possible really to know for sure whether there is God there is God yes it is we come to a moral certitude deep inside your soul inside your mind do you know without doubt that you have been given gifts from God if you think if you look without prejudice you will be able to look within your own life the instances where God has shown himself his mercy for you and that is awesome and incredible but you have to start with a humble heart you have to start recognizing that we are just creatures that we did not create the world even though it was given to us to safeguard it to keep it and to even transform it but we cannot create the world we are keepers of the world we do not create each other there was and there is a creator who is God and we should freely look for him in as much as we look for love because in the end Jesus remains remains the way the truth and life he is our final destiny let us humbly pray today brothers that we should never be look like those Pharisees testing God and let us make the best of our efforts that when we finally meet God face to face we might be able to hear those beautiful words come to me blessed of my father God bless you all brothers